Hello again, gamers. Welcome back for another Captain's Unboxing. I'm the board game captain. I'm Lynn. And today we are unboxing the collector's edition of Everdell. Now, this uh, is the collector's edition, so again, some of the components may differ from this to the normal edition that you can find in stores. But uh, we picked this one up at Gen Con, where they were selling both the collector's and the standard edition. And let's have a look at what comes in the box. Now, the first thing is there's a slip case, which is why you don't see Everdell on the cover. That's the slip cover. There we go. And then underneath, that is what the cover, I believe, of the standard game also looks like, though ours says collector's edition on it. So you've got a badger and a mouse and a squirrel. There's a... I like this side, where there's a little bat. Oh, the bat. We're trying to... Yeah, yep. Yeah. And uh, very cool looking stuff. Let's have a look at what we have. So is that the rule book there? This is the collector's edition contents and extra rules and stuff. Oh, okay. Bonus stuff for it being Here's the collector's edition. Here's the regular one. That's just the rules. Um, so, ooh, 22 pages. Okay. And, but oh, the illustrations are fantastic. Yeah, it's 22 look at pages, this. but if there's full page illustrations, yeah. it's not 22 pages of rules. No, and then like this is just how to build the ever tree, which is only in the collector's edition, the big three-dimensional tree. Um, there it shows the full setup. Yeah. So, wow. The illustrations are fantastic. The rule book is full color. Lots of diagrams. I'm very impressed by the quality of this rule book. It looks really nice. So, I'm guessing this is the board. That looks like, I believe so. Let's unfold it and take a look. It's a giant lily pad. It's in the shape of a giant lily pad. That is awesome. And... You've got the tree stump over here. I guess you build the tree on that. And I think you put cards out in this area from what I've seen. The uh, board looks very nice. And it looks like it's got space for everything you need to do. You've got all these different little action areas. And I think, mm -hmm. like I say, cards go in the middle. So let's see what else we have in here. So next we've got some punch-out boards. Now these look like they're part of the tree along with some uh, commodities and maybe points or coins. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks like a barrel, right? Yeah, it does. It does look like a barrel. More pieces of the tree, plus more either points or coins, whatever those are. Locations? Uh, possibly. But there's the little paw print. I think yeah. that means you can maybe, go on it. Maybe cards get these added to the board. Mm -hmm. um, possibly, yes. And I know there's some... Uh, oh, how do they punch out? Uh, they're... Oh, okay, this one was a bit hard to punch out, but this one was easy. So, so. now, did that one come out without ripping and everything, though? Uh, it's one? the... Let me see. The right side of it is pretty... Oh, it came right out. No, okay. it's okay. It's fine punches out pretty well. Now here we've the got stickers? some stickers. I'm guessing because there's might be a solid wood version. Uh, I think there's some advanced uh, version of the of the commodities, some nicer versions of the commodities in here. That is a big D8. <laughs> Look at that. Let me pull that out. That is good. That is a unique looking I'm game component right there. Wood. Yeah, it's with really like big wooden Lots. sticks. I've heard something cool about the collector's edition version. Mm -hmm. The berries, which are one of the commodities, are supposed to be soft and rubbery and kind of feel like berries. And they do feel this. Oh my goodness, that's so weird. <laughs> is, that, is that bizarre? <laughs> it is, it's like made of rubber and they feel berry-like. That's really cool actually. And these look like little mice. Oh, those are probably workers. We've got some other animals over here, I think. I've got little hedgehogs and rabbits, I think. And maybe squirrels, I'm not sure. And Oh, no, those are squirrels. Got some little squirrels there in the bag. I'll pull some of these out to show. So here, this I'm thinking is a squirrel. I'm guessing there's different types of workers. This looks like a turtle. I think that's a turtle, maybe? Maybe. This one, I think, might be a, a little fox or a rabbit. It's got big ears. Um, I think these are what might the stickers go on. Oh, the little that's discs. probably right. And then here we have a little hedgehog. And then are those uh, some some coins there? Are those metal? Um, yeah, they feel metal. They're heavy. And then we've got little stones and, and gems over there. Yeah, we got some gray stones and some orange gems. Very nice. Now, why don't we open some of these cards and have a look at the artwork. Well, the, I really like the, the production and artwork of this game. It comes in a little pouch. So I'm going to get... Oh, okay. I'll open them and you start. Okay, oh, well, they, first they're, off, they're all little ripple they pouches. are... It's not a heavy linen finish, but there's a light linen finish on these. 
Um, the back of the cards looks very nice. You have that picture there from the cover. And then the front. Now, they're a little thin, though, but they're not bad. The linen finish is really nice. And the artwork is really amazing. Like, I love... I absolutely love the the artwork style, the forest animals. It makes me think of... This game really makes me think of The Wind in the Willows, the classic children's book that I read when I was a kid. And, of course, there was the old movie, the animated movie of it. And um, it also... Some of the things, like this reminds me of Redwall, the little mouse with the sword. It's pretty great. Yeah, this is... This is I mean, these are fantastic. Oh, look at this. It's a, a, a sagely bat. Did oh, you see him? He looks kind of cool. His name is Foresight. Uh, yeah, this this looks fantastic. I can't wait to play this game. It looks, it looks absolutely, absolutely amazing. Oh, Rugwort the Robber. <laughs> these are great. The cards look fantastic. What do you got over there? Uh, well, there's these little cards that... Um... They look like um, things you need to do, like achievements. Like. Ah, I see, yes. So now these have less artwork on them, more just functionality. But they look very nice, and they look like they serve their purpose well. And what have and you got over these there? These look like um, people that you can use. There's oh, more like the ones I had? Yeah. Uh, oh, there's another bat. Historian. There's a king. A peddler. Ranger, the teacher. They look really nice. I love the artwork in this game. The production quality is really good. Yeah, it looks like there's um buildings, places now, farms, and a general store and an inn. Oh, this that some of them even have little um, spots on spots them. on them. Put the workers on, yeah. So this this looks really fantastic. I can't wait to. Uh, this is one I, I really can't wait to try. I'm very excited for Everdell. So that is everything that comes in the box for Everdell. If you enjoyed this unboxing and you'd like to see us do more like it, be sure to give it a like, share it on all forms of social media. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the Board Game Captain. That's Captain spelled with a K on YouTube. And hit that little bell icon on my channel so you get updates every time I upload a new video. And until next time, game, game on. on.